viewers and subscribers welcome back to the sports perspective tv you know as always thank you for tuning in and if this is your first time coming across the channel then then welcome to the channel as well you know really appreciate you taking your time out to watch the video you know and interacting with the video as well right so in this video viewers and subscribers you know we're going to be talking about uh sheriff in rutherford you know he has pulled out of the cpl due to personal reasons so going to be discussing that and the impact that it will have on his team you know also discussing um the, the test match between england and sri lanka sri lanka pulled out a very comprehensive victory in the end so i'm going to be giving you the scores in that match as well and discussing that also so just stick around until the end of the video while we discuss all of these things right but before i get into the details just take a quick second um just to hit that like button you know it's very important you know very easy way for you to support the channel and it, it tells YouTube that you like the content that's being produced. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new also, right? Um, if you love West Indies cricket, love CPL, and just cricketing news in general, then you definitely want to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on everything um, that we post, right? So getting straight into it, I'm going to talk about the, the test match between England and Sri Lanka first. Um, just a, a quick overview of the match. So... Sri Lanka ended up winning the match by eight wickets, right? So the scores in the match, England batted first and made 325 in their first innings. And then they were bowled out for 156 in their second innings. Uh, Sri Lanka, you know, they made 263 in their first innings. So England did have a first innings lead of about 62, right? Um, England being bowled out for 156 meant that Sri Lanka only needed uh, 218 runs to win um in in their second innings and they got to 219 for two in their second innings you know so i've um winning the match comprehensively in the end um leaning the way with the with the butt for sri lanka in their second innings and, and kind of and guiding them to victory was uh patam nisanka you know he made 127 not out a quick fire 127 by the way you know he only needed 124 bars to make that 127 so Scored better than a runner ball in a test match. You know, can't ask for more on that. You know, open the innings and um, ensure that the team got to victory, right? So 127 not out was um, brilliant by Nisanka. So brilliant batting by him there. You know, um, also contributing with the bat for them was uh, Kusan Mendes. You know, he made 39 from 37. So another quick fire um, innings there by by another Sri Lankan batsman. Uh, batsman and Angelo Matthews, he scored 32 not out from 61 balls right um so they were the main contributors with the bat for sri lanka you know in their second innings you know in in guiding them to, to victory in this test match right so well done to sri lanka um congratulations you know on, on their brilliant victory and um you know hopefully they can well from their perspective i know they're hoping that they can um they can continue you know in the same vein of form and win the remainder of the matches and win the series if possible right um bowling for england in the second inning so it was chris walks and gus atkinson that got the wickets for them you know unfortunately it, it wasn't enough to prevent sri lanka from winning the match you know quite easily in the end and sri lanka scored very fast right so england kind of got a taste of their own middle so um as it relates to those fast scoring in test cricket or buzz ball as they call it right so congratulations to sri lanka again right so now moving on to cpl news right um Sheriffy and Rutherford, um, the West Indian batsman, you know, the Guyanese, you know, he has withdrawn from the, the CPL for this season, you know, due to personal reasons, you know, not sure what his reasons are, you know, but, um, you know, hopefully everything is okay with him and um, it's nothing too serious, right? Um, it, it wasn't an injury, it's personal reasons. So again, not sure what personal reasons mean, it could, could be anything. You know but whatever it is you know i'm just hoping and praying that you know he everything will work out for him and um it's nothing too serious that will um impact him or affect him uh for too too long um in the future right so definitely wishing surfing water for all the best with whatever he has going on at the moment you know and um yeah just wishing him all the best and hoping it, it's not too serious right um but it comes at a really bad time for um the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, right? You know, Sir Sheriff and Rutherford being one of one of the, the top batsmen in their, their team. You know, obviously, um he's been doing well for West Indies. You know, he hasn't really performed all that well this year in the CPL so far. 
right? But who knows? Maybe some of those personal personal reasons um had uh, had um something to do with that as well, right? But it definitely cannot deny that Sheriff Rutherford has quality, right? And him not being there in the St. Kitts and Patriot, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots lineup will, will definitely be um it will it will leave a void to be filled um um for them. You know, and um, it comes at a bad time because the Patriots, you know, they have they have won only one match so far in the CPL from about six matches, I think, right? So they they are definitely, you know, they are at the bottom of the CPL table, and they are are losing um, players, losing batsmen, you know, top quality batsmen also, which um, you know it doesn't bode well for them, right? Um, they saw so they, they also lost uh, Tristan Stubbs, who he played the first few matches for them. You know, but then he had to report um for South to South Africa um for their series that they have going on there. So that that's two top quality batsmen that they have lost uh so far, you know, in the, the, the CPL. So it will definitely be a challenge for them. You know, they but a positive though for, for the Patriots is that they 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 did get uh, Asaranga back, right? You know, originally Asaranga was um slated to play for them, but he missed the first few matches. Um he was injured, so he missed the first few matches, but he has since recovered from that injury, has been back and played a, a few, a couple of matches for them and actually performed well, especially in the most recent match. You know, batted decent and he got four for 16, you know, in a losing effort against the Falcons, right? Um, but uh, even other than Rutherford and Stubbs, you know, there, there, there's been quite a, a few players that, that, that's been either pulling out of the CPL due to injury or due to um, international duty, right? So, the, the Patriots, you know, they, they lost Tristan Stubbs and Ashamzi, you know, um, due to um, them having South African duty uh, with the Australian players, right? So, uh, Tim David, who was supposed to play for the Trinbigo Knight Riders, you know, he did not, um, he hasn't turned up so far, you know, be, again, because Australia is currently in a series against Scotland. Um, maybe he will show up after the series is finished, right? Um, but you know, uh, quite a few players have, have missed out on the CPL so far, right? And um, But it hasn't affected the quality of, of the tournament, I must say. You know, and the good thing about um, the West Indian when it, when it comes to T20, right? Um, I think West Indian players are some of the, the most sought um, the most sought after players in T20 cricket and um, most exciting players in T20 cricket as well. And as such, you know, we, we we have seen and we have some of some of some some very big names in T20 cricket that are West Indians as well. Some of the biggest names in T20 cricket are West Indians. Talking about uh, Andre Russell, uh, Nicholas Puran, a uh, Shimran Hetmeyer, a uh, Karen Pollard, even though he, he isn't playing for the West Indies right now. Um and uh, a She Hope, you know, you 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 name it, you know, they're a Ravman Powell, right? Um so they they there's still a, a lot of quality in the league um just home based quality and i think that the presence of them being there you know is is the reason why with the cpl so far you know even though a lot of players have pulled out due to injury or whatever reason the, the quality of, of the matches is, is is still up there you know I, I must commend the players for that you know it's been a very exciting cpl so far you know, close close matches, you know, a lot of runs being scored, you know, wickets falling as well, right? The most common the bowlers also, especially a good Akesh Moti, right? Um he he's done really well. And um Moti is I think he's either ranked second or third in the, the T twenty rankings, international T twenty rankings, you know. So is a, a Akil Hussein as well up there, you know. Um, right. Um we still have uh, Azar Joseph, we see uh, Hasaranga you now coming in and bowling well performing well you know Noor Ahmed you know Henrik uh, Nokia right so there's still a, a lot of quality players that that are um, currently in the CPL you know both local and uh foreign based players foreign players as well right so which is what is contributing to the quality of cricket we are seeing in the CPL right so um shout out to all the players in the CPL you know it's been exciting so far you know I, I must say as a fan you know I've enjoyed watching it I'm I'm not enjoyed. I'm enjoying watching the CPL. Obviously, still going on, right? Um, you you never know. Every match um provides some something different. You know, some sort of excitement. You know, no matter which teams are playing, right? So um, shout out to the the the, the team so far in the CPL. And um, but yeah, that's all I have for you in this video. You know, again, Sri Lanka beat England by eight wickets in their Test match. 
right? And uh, Sheriff Rain Rutherford, you know, he has pulled out of the CPL due to personal reasons. Uh, definitely hoping and praying that everything is, is okay with Rutherford and it's nothing that's too serious that's going to prevent him from playing cricket um, in the future, especially for the West Indies in their upcoming T20 series um, in October. Right, but that's all I have for you in this video, viewers and subscribers. You know, as always, thank you for tuning in. You know, do remember to like the video, you know, share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.